Toxic people. We often discount how toxic people in our lives create toxic thoughts, toxic actions, and stress in our lives. All of this can lead to inflammation, resistant weight that's hard to lose, and other health conditions. Let's explore some ways to reduce the toxic strain other people can place on us. I'm Jackie Elmer. Grab my guide over at LowerToxicLife.com. According to WebMD and other sources, 75 to 90% of all doctor's visits are for stress-related ailments and complaints. How much of this stress is caused by the people around us? Spouses, parents, siblings, children, adult children, in-laws, other family members, friends, neighbors, coworkers, those people who we engage with on a regular basis, even those we see on the nightly news or we see regularly in our feed on social media. These are all relationships that might be toxic to some degree. So I'm gonna give you a few strategies to recognize and cope with and even eliminate some of these toxic relationships. Now, I might blow your mind with this statement, but I want you to really think about this. Relationships are nothing more than thoughts, and it's our own thinking. We have a thought about another person, and that's what forms the basis of the relationship. We either like or love the way we feel when we're with this person, the way we feel when we engage and interact with them, or we don't like the way that we feel at all. And we have to know that these are thoughts that we create because we take that person who we don't relate to at all, who seems very toxic to us, And then we see other friendships, relationships. How the heck did they get married? We ask ourselves those those questions. So that makes it easy when you logically step back and realize it's your own thoughts around this person and the way you and this person interact and engage. That's not to make you wrong in any way. I'm not saying that you need to change or that you're wrong, but it's helpful when we become aware that all relationships are nothing more than the thoughts that we have about them. Now, we also have those expectations of how people around us should act and behave. I call it life's playbook. This is the how-to manual that all of us develop for other people. And they'll be individual depending on whether it's your spouse, a child, a parent, a sibling, a coworker, whatever it is. We have life's playbook for each of them. These are the how-tos, again, of how to play the game and our expectations of them. Now, I heard Kyle Cease once say, no one breaks your heart, they just break your expectations. And this really fits into that idea of our playbook that we have for other people. Our expectations for other people fit right into that playbook. This isn't going to surprise you. I know you know this already. We can't control another person. The only thing we can control is ourselves, hopefully, and how we react to other people. And yet it doesn't stop us from trying. All of us try to control other people all the time. It's human nature. We make up stories and perceptions and meanings, and we make assumptions about what words, actions, and behaviors that other people express, what those mean. We make up the stories, we make up the definitions, the meanings, all of that around what, how that affects us. We assume that this is what they mean when they say a certain thing. And this creates that sense of toxicity from another person. Now, expectations are fine. And it's important to also know that they're not always going to be met. And that's when you and I have to make a decision around boundaries. It's important to know that boundaries are not for another person. Boundaries are what we set for ourselves. They're for us. Because again, we can't control another person. We can put a fence up, but we can't stop them from jumping over the fence, plowing right through the fence. And that really is an analogy for the boundaries that we set. This is where boundaries for ourselves become so very important. We can try and demand that a person behave or treat us in a certain way, but we can't actually make it happen. We have to allow adults to be who they are and do what they're going to do, but we don't have to participate in it. 
we can set a boundary on how we will allow or disallow those things around us. If someone is constantly critical of you, you can ask them to stop and they may or they may not. Your boundary might be to choose to no longer be around that person. You can tell them why or not. And this is where it can be especially hard with family or those really close to us. But here's a reminder, we can do hard things. So here are a few steps to take to determine who might be toxic in your life and then how you want to handle it. Take some quiet time to go through an inventory of who is in your life and how you feel about them and how you feel when you're around them. Write down the names of who brings up these thoughts and feelings that are negative to you. And then spend some time reflecting on ways that you might want to handle them and handle these situations. Decide who you can disengage from completely and who you aren't able to or are unwilling to at this time. For those who you choose to disengage from, be clear on your reasons and your methods for doing this. Will you just stop taking their calls, stop responding to texts and messages, say no to invitations, remove them from your invitation list? You aren't required to know the answer right away. Just sit with it and allow it to evolve. Now, when you find yourself in situations around those toxic people, do your best not to engage with them. Don't allow them to get under your skin, or at very least, don't allow them to know that they're under your skin. You can go home later and punch your pillow or something. But what you don't want to do is create any type of verbal banter back and forth, because that just creates more frustration, more stress, and more toxicity. Do some thought work around this. Ask yourself before any encounter, how do I want to show up best in this situation? How do I want to show up for myself? How do I want to show up for this person and for the others who are around us, especially when it's family, other family members, right? You don't want other family members thinking negatively about you because you blew up and allowed them to get under your skin, that you created that back and forth banner. Just refuse to engage. And then weigh in carefully on who you decide to invest your time and energy with. Time is our most precious commodity, and you aren't required to be a people pleaser or fulfill unrealistic expectations that others place on you. You are always in control. You get to set your own boundaries. You can decide what works for you and where you're going to put yourself and in what situations. We can't control another person, but we can control ourselves. So are you ready to let go of or at least reroute some of these toxic people in your life? Book a call with me and let's discuss some ideas. Go to call.lowertoxiclife.com. I'm Jackie Almer. I'll see you on the next video.